Between the two teams, it's been high scoring, especially for the winning team, as only two games have been decided by a two-goal margin. The rest have been decided by three or more. Nice shot that just goes wide of the net. Hits the man in front. Partridge down and out. Bobcats come away with it. Now a nice shot, and they score! Down and out was Partridge after you see man hunched over from the Bobcats. He takes the puck originally at first and down and out, works its way into the corner, finds Brendan Carrilla just in the high slot and he's able to bury. Good shot by the defenseman from New Hope. As he gets actually his first goal of the season off of that play. Back to Hoy. Periglisi with it now. Nice shot from Periglisi. Down low and just goes wide of the net. Almost had a backdoor play. Broken. And there it is right there. Karina continues his streak. Three goals now for him. Power play goal for Ohio. Huge opportunity still for Ohio. Minute two left to go on the Wilkie infraction from the hit from behind. As they have a great opportunity to be able to find a way to make this potentially a 3-0 game. As I said, Corita now gets his third goal of the weekend. Still no whiskey. Quarterbacking this power play up top. Nice shot from him, goes into a body, and another body has a great opportunity, still on the play, and there's Nash on the doorstep. Banging home the loose change is Joseph Nash once again. S scored yesterday, and now he scores again. Flames get their first power play goal of the weekend. Huge chance for them. As Nowitzki had it, goes off a body in front, then goes off a Nash. Nash is there on the first try, can't get it, but gets it on the second. Gets now his ninth goal of the season. Partridge with it, goes into a body once again, has another great opportunity. Now the Bobcats come on a two on one if they hurry. Here they go, can they get a clean it? And they do! Karina over to Sterling. On the shorthanded attempt, makes this three to one. Stirring, and that's been the story in this one all weekend. Ohio has been able to capitalize on the Flames' miscues. Corita has another, or adds to the assist column now. Blocking arm save from Partridge. Lewinsky brings it back up. Here's Carter. Carter with it. Nice shot from Carter, and he gets it. Wow. Darren Carter does it again. Coming in with a bunch of speed and beats Dunning with the wrister. Great shot from him. Looked like a howitzer. Had the clapper yesterday. Today, the quick wrister just beats him. Great shot from Mr. Carter. Or Carter, that gives him two goals on the weekend and also a six of the season. Nice shot from corner as Ohio tried to be able to get it on the bad angle. Here's Briggs. Briggs throws it in. Now Wilkie with it. On the second attempt, great chance for them, and the Flames are able to get it on the rebound. Norwinski with it! <laughs> Alex Norwinski. Is able to get home the loose puck that leads to the Flames now tying this thing back up. Here it goes again. Wilkie with a nice shot. Dunning's able to make the first save. And then Nowinski gets it down and then is able to get past it. Now 3-3 tie for the first time in this game since the beginning stages of when it was knotted up at 0-0. Back-to-back goals for the Flames. Now to Carter, to Nieder. Nieder getting it over to Nash. Nash able to get to it and is able to get it through! Dunning thought he had it! 
but Nash, wow, what a play by him. Flames take their first lead of the game. Niederer put the brakes on and waited for Nash to get a one-on-one -on -one chance, takes it and then just barely beats him five hole. Wow, what a play. And the Flames take their first lead. Boy, Joseph Nash, great work by him. Second goal of the contest off of the feed from Niederer. Waits for it. Carter throws it up to Niederer. Niederer chips it out. Had Nash behind the defense, but the defense reads it perfectly. Now, here comes Dunning. Extra attacker coming on for the Bobcats. Wide open. Here's the chance. Throws it up in front. Niederer banks it off the glass. Kept in, though. Here's Nash. Almost had a chance to get a chance for the empty netter. Here's Niederer. Niederer with it. Holding on. Great job. Niederer ices the game. Great patience by Michael Niederer on that play. As the Bobcats, we said how they've been doing an excellent job blocking shots. One of the men, diving effort, tried to make the play. Great intercept by Niederer. Here it is on the diving effort. Niederer waits patiently as the man bits on the fake shot attempt, and he closes this one out. Boy, if you miss this one, you really did miss a good one. A great battle between these two teams. A lot of hard hitting, great scoring opportunities, and even great goaltending performances. Now, even though Dunning is on the losing end, he played phenomenal. And Adam Partridge, 14th win of the season. He had a great job as well, making some big saves in some timely fashions, weather the storm that Ohio put on him. Well, that'll do it here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Flames split with the Bobcats, five to three. Stick around, Kyle Vaught will be on the call. Oh, like going against the Division II team when they play against University Pittsburgh. For Pat Strawn and the rest of the LFSN crew, thank you all for tuning into this one. Final score, five three.